There is another lawsuit, though, that we have to talk about. Breaking news, Chargers owner Dean Spanos is being sued by his sister, Dia Spanos Barbarian, for alleged mis misogynistic behavior and repeated breaches of fiduciary duty per me, Adam Schefter, and Kimberly A. Lawsuit was filed today in California and calls for Dean Spanos to be removed as co-trustee. This has been lingering for a couple years now. Yeah. This conversation about the family, the Spanos family, having a little bit of turmoil has been chatted about by other us and I think a lot of courts over the last few years, which led us to believe that the Chargers are potentially going to go up for sale because I believe Dia Spanos Barbarian was initially alleging that Spanos, the owner of the Chargers, did not have enough money, had a bunch of debts, liens, was basically um, reckless with the way he was running the Chargers family and they were calling for him to sell it and for the family to sell it. We don't know. At that time, it was kind of shrugged off as not real. Now another lawsuit is, uh, lose, a lawsuit is coming. It sure feels like Dia and Dean do not like each other. Not That's at all. Right. Dia is it? And when there's Dia is it? When there is billions of dollars on the line, an LA franchise on the line, and with $4.65 billion cash being presented by Robson Walton to the Boland Trust, Dia seeing that the rest of the family, we don't know where the rest of the family, allegedly the rest of the family is on Dean's side, and she is the only one that is mm. somehow maybe had a falling out with the family, which does happen, by the way. That yeah. does happen with families. We've seen it on numerous occasions, especially when there's a lot of money involved. Now this is going, only going to grow larger and larger. It happens to be a Friday which is Interesting. Yeah. really fascinating. There's a follow-up tweet here. Dia Spanos Barbarian claims in her lawsuit that her brothers Dean and Michael Spanos believe to their cores that regardless of what their parents intended in their wills specified, men are in charge and women should shut up. Okay, so this is a part of the misogynistic thing claims, I believe, that mm -hmm. Dia's a part of. Uh, she probably feels as if she hasn't had enough say maybe in the team or in the Chargers or enough power in the Chargers. This will only continue to go. But with somebody already on the record Via Pro Football Talks, Mike Florio, so I don't know where he got it from. But Josh Harris, owner of the Sixers, yeah. has said, I will pay $5 billion right now for a team, let alone in L.A. That'll get driven up even more. Yep. That's probably a part of all of this. Uh, when he got big money, he got big problems. Mm -hmm. And here we go with the Spanos family and the Chargers. Yeah, because wasn't it initially she was the one who was saying all those things like, hey, we're broke. Like, you don't have the money to run this team. And he was kind of just holding on to it. So it would make sense if someone, a big, big bidder came in that, you know, she wants to sell the team. But, I, I mean, is this going to ultimately go anywhere? I feel no. like we've... We have no idea. Yeah. No. This will all get buried behind the scenes. We've seen succession. Uh -huh. This will all kind of get figured yeah. out. But there is a little bit of turmoil amongst some billionaires, it does sound like, especially in an ownership family of the NFL.